Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy tip that will help secure the connection between your battery pack and your switch for any nitro vehicle. Now, I know a number of people, they like to stay away from or avoid using a switch. I've always used a switch. I don't like the idea of having a plug that you're constantly having to connect and disconnect every time you go out on the track because I feel by plugging it in and unplugging it every time you go on the track, over time that connection's gonna get weak or even if you solder a larger plug on, you're still having to apply pressure to plug it in and unplug it and over time I feel like you have more of a risk of having a failure than you would if you used a switch. So whether you're using like the ProTech electronic switch or a mechanical switch, you can use this tip and it's just gonna help secure, make sure that the battery never comes disconnected uh, from the switch. Technically, you could use this same tip um, if you wanted to secure the plug before going out for a main event, even if you're using just a standard plug and no switch. But this is what I do because typically you put a battery, you put a switch into your radio tray, you plug it in, and you leave it like that for a long, long time. It can move around, it can vibrate in the radio box, and it's not something that you check often. So what I like to do is assemble the radio tray, put a battery, put a switch in, use this tip, and then just kind of forget about it and until I'm ready to either put a new battery in or a new switch or just maintain um, or do maintenance to the radio tray. So. I'll show you a closer look. I'll go through the process and show you how simple it is to uh, ensure that your battery doesn't ever come disconnected from your switch. Okay, so this is a really simple and easy tip that will just help guarantee not having the battery come disconnected from the switch. There are companies that make this little plastic piece that will, once the battery is plugged into the switch, this clips on and makes it to where you can't pull the switch apart. It does take up a little bit more space. There's also some sharp corners, which I always worry over time with the vibration and the abuse that eight scale cars take. I worry a little bit about those sharp corners kind of nicking or cutting some of the other wires that may be in your receiver box. So this tip that I'm gonna show you I feel is a little bit safer and you also don't have to try to track down this little plastic clip. So what I do is I simply take a piece of shrink wrap. This is just Protect shrink wrap. And it's basically the perfect size to fit this plug here. It's, it's actually kind of tight to get on. So what I do is I just take pair of needle nose pliers and just kind of spread and open up the shrink wrap just slightly. It'll just kind of stretch out a little bit. Once you do that, it makes it really easy to slide over the plug. You can go ahead and plug in the battery. Make sure obviously the polarity is correct. You always want negative to go to negative, positive to positive. And then what I'll do is I'll slide the shrink wrap over to where it kind of wraps over the end of the battery lead and then over the step on the switch lead. Obviously I would normally do this when it's in the vehicle or in the radio tray, but just for video purposes, I'm, I have it out and just showing you. From there, you'll just go ahead, apply a little bit of heat shrink wrap the plug. And then from there you can see everything is really smooth and neat. And then it's nearly impossible for this plug to come apart. You could actually take two pieces of shrink wrap if you wanted to extend it over the switch side a little bit more. But as long as it's over that first step and then over the end of the plug, you should be good to go. And then you should never have a problem with your battery disconnecting from the switch. And like I said, 
If you don't use a switch and you just have a lead coming from your receiver to where you have a plug just to plug it in um, before a main event, instead of trying to find one of these clips or instead of super gluing this plug together, you can just use shrink wrap. And then you can take an X-Acto knife, score a little line in the shrink wrap, take it apart and unplug the battery. And it'll just be a much safer, more secure way to hopefully help you finish long main events.